Stop using the manual filter. Use the filter function instead. You often use the filter tool in the data tab to filter data, right? For example, to show only the number of iPhones sold. It's quick, but there are two problems. When you filter manually, with auto filter, other rows are hidden, your original data disappears from view. And if you try to sum the filtered column using the sum function, the result will be wrong because sum still counts hidden values. In this example, the actual number of iPhones should be 180, but sum shows 1,500, which includes all products. The solution? Use the filter function. Type equals filter. This formula returns a new range that only includes rows with iPhone. While keeping your original table untouched, you get the filtered results and preserve your data. Now, want to sum the total iPhones correctly? Use sum together with filter equals sum. The result will be the correct total for iPhones, 180 in this example. If you still prefer using the manual auto filter, then to calculate the correct total, use this formula instead. Equals subtotal. Number 9 represents the sum function. Subtotal only sums up the visible cells after filtering. So, to recap, use filter to create a dynamic range that's easy to combine with other functions like sum. Use auto filter plus subtotal if you prefer filtering and summing directly in your original table. Try the formula sum and filter yourself and let me know your result in the comments.